It finally happened. After 14 years of this. You know what? I'm not leaving. That 2009 Auburn men's tuner free relay record is out of here. The Florida men finally fulfilled the prophecy. They met their own goal of breaking that 14 year old record. And they not only broke it, they freaking demolished it. These guys aren't a bunch of has-beens. These are the best in the world, brother. Before we get into the comparison of this, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on all the good swimming content that we are producing this week and all weeks to come. And leave a comment below saying which relay you think is going to go down next at this NCAA championships. Today's the 400 medley, tomorrow's the 400 free, but both those records are freaking fast. I personally don't see the 400 medley going down. 400 free, I think we've got a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. Comparing the Florida men's 113.35 to Auburn's 114.08, it is crazy because the only difference in splitting is the leadoff. You've got Auburn's 2009 record where Jakob Onder led off in 18-8, followed by Gideon Lowe at 18-3, Colton Norris at 18-6, and Matt Target at 18-1. Obviously, stupidly fast for 2009, but also they were in giant rubber suits, so, you know, that helps out too. Let's look at Florida's splits. Josh Leendo, 18.22, 0.67, faster than old Jakob. And then Adam Chaney, 18.3, Eric Fries, 18.6, and McGuire McDuff, 18.1. Exactly the same last three splits as Auburn. What? They end up breaking the record by 0.73. And again, the difference in leadoffs was 0.67. So there's six one hundredths difference between the last three legs of those two relays. Nuts! Also, give credit to Florida's relay starts. Eric Fries' famous scared money don't make money from last year when they won the two medley relay holds true to this relay. Because guess what? If you add up Auburn's last three reaction times, you get a .61. If you add up Florida's reaction times, you get a point two, three, that's right, almost four tenths the difference between reaction times of Auburn and reaction times of Florida. Not to mention, Mr. Freeze himself was a cool 0, 0.00. It kind of became like a thing. Oh yeah, Eric is gonna pull like a zero, zero reaction time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, today I was like mid-air, I was like, I right, this it, like. <laughs> so when we take a look at this race, we have to keep in mind that individual 50 free where we have the super long start and how a lot of these guys on the leadoff are kind of getting a little redemption there. So once again, Leendo, 18-4 individually, he splits 18-2 on the leadoff there. So short start equals faster swimming. Then you've got Adam Chady diving in who has been on this relay numerous times. He is a stalwart for Florida. He gets over quickly in 18-3. And then Eric Freeze, the master of that relay start. He, it doesn't seem like he's been 100% on. He was 19-7 in the 50 fly, 19-3 in that 50 fly last year for the medley. But he gets the job done, 18-6, still holding it down. And then McGuire McDuff, a .04 start, just nails it home for the Gators. He's 19-1, really solidifies this win for them, and obviously solidifies this record as well. Cal was creeping up there at the end. They also get under the old record, becoming the second team all time to go 113. But in the end, Florida runs away with the win. This meet has been a revelation so far. We are now three for three for NCAA relay records being broken. And Leon Marchand is just getting cooking. So once again, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any future videos coming out this week. I'll see you next time.